Since its founding, it was separate Pueblo from its mother town, Baclayon. This town has metamorphosed from a small resettlement area for the Daguhoy rebels to the municipality that is today. an interior town located 22 kilometers northeast of Tagbilaran City, the capital of Bohol. This place is a panorama of verdant hills, rugged mountains, and green fields, which is said to have been so named because of the grass or balili, which grows abundantly in the locality. In the nutshell, Balilihan means a place where plenty of balili grows. Searches, studies, and documents gather revealed that Balilihan originally was under the tutelage of the municipality of Baclayon, being one of the barrios of that town. When the Daguha revolt was subdued by the Spaniards, the inhabitants desired to establish a local government to work for the common good. With the guidance of Prior Tomas, thus on September 29, 1828, marked the establishment of the town of Balilihan, where Sir Pario Pongase was appointed the captain, the first executive of the town. For Balilihan Sumad, means putting together accumulated wisdom and experience during the past years up to present, and through these years, Balilihan's strength has always been the people's resilience persistence and commitment to God and country and their openness to innovations which make Balilihan what it is today. In order to keep alive the memory of the founding of the town, the honorable members of the Sangguniang Bayan of Balilihan passed a resolution number 93-23-A declaring September 29th of each year as Balilihan Day or Sumad as a commemoration of the founding of the municipality of Balilihan in the province of Bohol. Furthermore, the said resolution was sponsored by Kagawad and Brosho El Bayod and was anonymously adopted on March 22, 1993, attested by Engineer Dominicio El Chato, the Vice Mayor and Presiding Officer, and approved by Attorney Edgar M. Chato, the Municipal Mayor, with the SB Secretary Nimia M. Lungay, certifying to the correctness of the resolution. The first Foundation Day of Balilihan was celebrated after 165 years since the town's establishment during the term of the Mayor Edgar Chato. The event was fittingly celebrated with a Holy Mass, Flag Racing Ceremony, Agro Fair, photo exhibits of the scenic spots and community development projects, Awarding of Balilihan men and women who played significant roles in shaping the history of Balilihan. The highlight of the one-day activity was Pasunding, a street show and dance drama showcasing the historic and cultural parada, ending in Dua Sayaw competition with hundreds of towns fox in colorful costumes, with groups and talented and artistic Balilinhans working together to dramatize the existence of Balilihan from its beginning, its struggle, survival, development, and progress, which were presented in 12 chapters. The presentation of Dua Sayaw drew thousands of Balilinhans and visitors from all walks of life and was witnessed by national, provincial, and local officials. The following years, 
1994 up to 1997, the Sumad celebration was held on September 29 and 30 with the Agro-Industrial Fair. Search for Mutya ng Balilihan and Cup Awarding Ceremony which recognize outstanding poroks, barangay officials, and employees. In 1998, Foundation Day or SUMAD started as a one-week celebration by virtue of Section 122, Chapter 9 of the Municipal Environment Code, which was anonymously adopted by the SB on March 25, 1998, attested by Vice Mayor Domi Chato, Presiding Officer, approved by Mayor Eladio I. Chato, Sr., Municipal Mayor on April 13, 1998. It provides for the celebration of Environment Week in the municipality annually on September 23 to 29, the last day to fall in the municipality's Foundation Day. Since then, Balilihan Sumad has become a week-long celebration and has become a part of the lives of the people and is now a tourist attraction to both local and foreign tourists. On August 7, 2009, Republic Act No. 9706, declaring September 29 of every year as a special non-working public holiday in the municipality of Balilihan, province of Bohol, was signed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. The act was sponsored by Congressman Edgar M. Chato in the House of Representatives on July 28, 2008 and was finally passed by the House on December 3, 2008 and in the Senate on May 26, 2009. Forever moving ahead to greater heights. So come, witness, experience, and enjoy SUMA 2009. Dayon Kamo sa Balilihan. One.